Hi, everyone. Uh, how is everyone doing? Uh, I thought of doing a small session around I posted this question today uh, on my uh, YouTube channel and most of the people got it wrong. Not even one person came close to answering it the way somebody would expect. So with that intention, I thought let's have a live session and see what could be the potential answer for this question. I posted some hints as well. Uh, let's see if people can come and uh, help us find the right answer for this one. <clears throat> Hi, everyone. So six of you are joined at least. So more people will join in the chat. Let me know what could be the potential answer for this question. Uh, it's not very tricky question. Just to you know, trigger your brain that you know what could be the potential answer for this kind of uh, question I see people are increasing. Is anyone able to suggest something what the answer for this question could be? Or if anyone wants to join me in the Zoom, they're also more than welcome. So the right answer uh, for this question that I would expect anyone to really answer in the interview would be that it would depend. It would depend on few factors because EC2 service is used by many other services as well. So the question does not clarify whether these six EC2 instances that we have if they are part of an auto scaling group or not, if they are part of a Kubernetes cluster or not. If you answer this, automatically your knowledge is not limited to EC2 or specific uh, stuff. You have broad knowledge. If the instances are part of an auto scaling group, you restart to, you stop to, or you terminate to it will automatically take you to a desired state of EC2 instances. If your desired state was six instances, terminating instances will have not much impact for like it will, they will go down. The auto scaling group will detect that the instances are down and the desired instances are six and it will recreate those instances. Same with Kubernetes cluster. If, if it detects that uh, the worker nodes are not enough or to the desired uh, state that you want it to be, it will automatically add additional instances to your environment. So you can say that there is not enough information in this, but you have six EC2 VMs, you don't know whether they are part of auto scaling group or not. So if that they are managed by such uh, cloud services, so take this as an opportunity. If this kind of question comes, don't jump on to saying that two, four, six. The answer is actually 
it depends. So, all right, uh, we'll uh, see you guys some other day. Uh, two will be running state, all will remain four into no, that's not correct. The answer is actually it would depend, you know, uh, what kind of uh, environment you have. So, that, that would be a very uh, much better answer and it will take you get you some additional points in the interview will will show you as an expert that uh, you understand different services not just basic of ec2 and uh, these kind of question people use to differentiate between excellent candidates and average candidates all right guys that's all i wanted to uh, talk uh, in this short uh, session um, the the post is on the youtube channel uh, you can see and obviously you can subscribe to the channel we keep doing longer live sessions we keep doing all sort of other way to help you guys over the weekend some experts are coming to the channel and a lot of other ways we will we will ensure that you are getting small doses of uh, aws gcp azure devops all these platforms in short duration because we value your time as well we don't want to give you a hero to a zero to hero course basically which will take you hours and hours and hours of learning which will not help shell scripting or uh, any docker networking concepts which are not so relevant for every role so focus on the bare minimum stuff that can get you job that is helpful in your job and see you on some other day.